Good morning, Business Tech students. This is Ms. Gannon, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of The Julie Gannon Show. I know that I've been on hiatus for a while, and we haven't had a chance to um, communicate, but we're back, and we're back in business. We only have two weeks left before finals week, and you may or may not know that, but this is um, really important to do well in the final stretch so that you can go strong into finals week, into your final grade which does go on your transcript. The last thing that we're going to talk about here before the final are business letters, personal business letters. Personal business letters have seven basic parts, and they are, and they'll always be in this the same exact format, the same exact order. The date, we have the letter address, the salutation, the body of the letter, complimentary close writer, and reference initials. The date, of course, will be the current date, Letter address is who is going to receive the letter. So again, it's the recipient of the letter, not you who's sending it, but the person who will receive it. And it's um, have a physical address. If the person has um, a name, and if the title doesn't stick out too far, you can put it on the side, otherwise you put it underneath. You're gonna put the name of the company. If you do have a name of a company, you won't always have that. The street address and the city state zip. Please note on the city state zip that a comma comes after the city with one space, California, space space, and then it will have 93901. On this here, it'll this is the salutation. This is going to who is going to receive the letter. Please note that the person's first name is not used in the salutation. The body of the letter will always be on the left side because this is block format and this is what we like to use in here. It's, it's the quickest, it's the easiest. Then you're going to have a complimentary close. Complimentary close will say sincerely, respectfully, cordially. Please note that in a personal, in a business setting, we would not use um, yours truly. We wouldn't say love. Um, that would um, not be appropriate. Save that for your personal stuff. And then you will have the writer. Sometimes the writer will have a title, in which case it will go underneath. And then reference initials. Capital K, capital P, that's the person who wrote the letter forward slash and then in lowercase letters with no punctuation is the person who typed the letter. So you would put those underneath there and again you would do that for accountability purposes. When I'm looking at my letter I want to make sure that it is vertically aligned, vertically centered, which means I have the same amount of space on the top as I do on the bottom. So I'm going to go over here and I can tell that it is set up, but the way you would set it up is you're going to click on Page Setup, and this is all in your notes. You will click on Layout, and you will click Center. If I didn't have it centered, it would look like this. And you can clearly see that it's off. I have a little bit of space up here and then a whole lot of space down here, and it just doesn't look um, centered. So we're going to go back, and I'm going to go back to Page Setup and I will hit center. The other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that when you go into each of these items that you the spacing is correct vertically centered. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and on the fourth line I'm going to type the return address. All of these will be single space. I'm going to go enter, enter, and then there's the salutation, and then enter, enter, Here's the body. These will all be single space, but before you start a new paragraph, you will say enter, enter, and again, enter, enter. After the last paragraph, before the complimentary close, you will press enter, enter, and then the, between the sincerely, the complimentary close and the writer, it's four. One, two, three, four. The reason you leave four spaces there is that when you print it off, you would, that would enough room to, for your signature, enough place for you to sign it. Single spaced, and then double. And again, before you print, you would always want to make sure that you have it vertically aligned. If you have any questions, please make sure that you check your notebook. All of this information is in there. And um, if you, or watch the video again. If you still have questions, please just make sure you ask your elbow partner and or ask me. Thank you. I hope this helps.